Hey folks, Ryan Smith from Better Life Carolinas here, ready to dive into the fascinating topic of hyperbaric oxygen therapy and its impact on the brain. We've been receiving a ton of questions about how HBOT can help preserve our cognitive abilities, not only as we age, but also in specific disease conditions. So let's dig a little deeper. Now, first off, cognitive decline is something that truly keeps us up at night. The thought of losing our mental sharpness and our sense of self is pretty scary, not to mention the burden that it places on our loved ones. And it's not like we've been given much hope either. We've sort of developed this ignorance is bliss approach to Alzheimer's and other cognitive issues. But here's the thing, there are treatments available, albeit not simple ones. These treatments require significant lifestyle changes. Take a look at Dr. Dale Bredesen's RECODE protocol as an example. It's a comprehensive approach to tackling chronic diseases, but it shows us that relying solely on a pill or on HBOT won't cut it. However, when HBOT is used in conjunction with other treatments, it can be incredibly effective at addressing cognitive decline. Now let's be real, we don't have a ton of randomized controlled trials in this field. But fortunately, the evidence we do have, along with impressive clinical results and a solid rationale, all point towards HBOT being a helpful tool for a wide variety of cognitive concerns. And hey, when we say cognitive concerns, we're talking about everything from memory issues and communication struggles to learning difficulties and trouble focusing our attention. Understanding just how HBOT affects our cognitive function requires us to grasp its mechanisms of, of action. When we undergo HBOT, the increased oxygen and pressure bring about changes in blood flow, reduce neuroinflammation, promote neuronal growth and connections, boost antioxidant defenses, strengthen the blood-brain barrier, and even prevent untimely cell death amongst our brain cells. And this isn't even a comprehensive list, but it, it's fairly impressive. Let's shift our focus to brain injuries like TBI, post-concussion syndrome, stroke. Recovery from these injuries is all about the brain's ability to reorganize itself, a term that we refer to as neuroplasticity. Enter HBOT. It supports this reorganizational capacity of the brain by providing metabolic support and stimulating the production of growth factors like BDNF, brain-derived neurotrophic factor. Think of BDNF as fertilizer for your brain. It fosters communication and rewiring between neurons, and this leads to functional recovery and help with memory formation and learning. For those with TBI, the benefits of HBOT are most pronounced when applied soon after the injury. Studies have shown improvements in memory and executive function, processing speed, sleep quality, even balance. As for stroke, HBOT has been found to induce neuroplasticity even during the chronic stages of stroke. This enables patients to experience better memory and executive function. When it comes to neurodegenerative disease like vascular dementia and Alzheimer's, the evidence can be a little bit more mixed. Vascular dementia patients have shown improvement in motor function and cognition with HBOT, and these are quite robust findings. As for Alzheimer's, it really depends on the study size and power and protocol. However, there's a wealth of strong information that we derive from animal studies, and a recent human cohort study from 2020 discovered that early stage Alzheimer's patients experienced improved global cognition and memory even up to six months after HBOT. It's worth noting that many studies emphasize the need, emphasize the need for ongoing HBOT therapy to maintain all of these benefits. And we're still unsure of the exact dose and the frequency required for addressing certain cognitive issues. So personalized approaches will likely be the way to go. To sum it all up, HBOT proves to be a valuable addition in addressing cognitive issues, but it needs to be part of a holistic program to maximize its effectiveness. And while we have good clinical results and a good understanding of how it works, we still need more data in terms of the best HBOT protocols for a particular concern. If you wanna dive deeper into the world of HBOT and cognition, or you have questions about how this may benefit you or a loved one, 
please reach out to us at Better Life Carolinas. We'd love to have a more in-depth conversation with you. Thanks for tuning in. Take care.